Greetings Earthlings, my name is Zero Jake and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're going to be working on designing a hangar module for the space station. Uh, let's just turn on the UI again. I don't know why my head is clipping through, that's probably because of new animations. Um, using a jetpack should be fine. Okay, yeah, that was weird. Yeah, so we're going to be designing uh, the hangar module, well, uh, a hangar for the space station out here. Uh, last episode we were doing a mining base over in that direction on the asteroid that we usually mine from so that we can get more resources. But today we're going to be working on uh, specifically this segment here. I've already kind of outlined the maximum height and everything. It's weird. It's just there for me to not do too much maths. Right, so um, we, need to we need to design a hangar module. Uh, these are probably going to be for smaller craft, so not that, because this will never fit in unless we make, like, a larger um, hangar bay area over this side, like, extend the station a bit, but we'll do that later, as uh, later as in we've already finished this thing. So, uh, the design that I'm thinking of is it's going to be coming out of the, uh, out of the armor. Uh, out of the hull. So if we want to place these, let me just get the right orientation. There we go. And then we will continuously do this. Um, so basically if we leave like one or two layers from this side, then it should give us enough room to do some plumbing, such as conveyors and well, conveyors, because they're the only kind of plumbing you need. Uh, so I'll just do this side as well. There we go. And then we'll also do down here. I don't know how far down here, but we'll do it this way. Now, uh, the way that we're going to have it is we're going to have uh, a horizontal section coming outside, so it kind of breaks up the hull a bit. Um, so the hangar itself is a square, well, a uh, cuboid, uh, but the, but it comes halfway out the armor, if that makes sense. So if I demonstrate, if we get this, we go out this way, except that I still need to place some stuff here, so no, that's not going to be the place it's going to be placed, uh, as in, uh, we get... do an under thing of here. Noting that all of this wall is going to be done in a second, but I just need to explain how this is going to work. Unless you already know, in which case then uh, good for you. Uh, so we're probably going to go down two levels for the um, top row, and then the bottom row is going to be one level. So that means there's a three kind of, well there's a gap between each layer of hangar if that makes sense. I don't think it does, but who cares. Right. And then we have this section come off like this. Or have it some way that it looks good with the uh, with this. So we could actually change this in uh, we could change these into uh, corners uh, no, slopes and have them facing this way. Uh, and then in this section we can have turn it around properly. That. That makes sense. Probably doesn't. Um, but hey ho. And then we will get this and go upwards a bit. There we go. Yeah, if it's kind of a this approach. Don't know if it's going to look good. Probably not. But uh, we can do multiple designs of this. So if we extend this uh, yeah we need to do this bit don't we of course we do there and then we'll do this good we 
we'll come across this way and then we'll do the other thing and then we just need to check to see um, this is probably actually going to be kind of similar size to the hangar on the surveyor but um, this is only going to be for one ship so we could pro possibly fit in a larger like cargo ship or something not a dedicated freighter but kind of a courier uh, that would be good extend this Uh, you need to be one level down. Yes, you do. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I remember now. Good. Does that look all right? Yes. Actually, this hangar bay is going to be pretty large, but if you've got a long ship and try to turn it around, it's not going to work well. Hmm. Well, I guess you couldn't. You could just back out. But yeah, these hangars should be able to fit quite a large, thin ship in, which is very good. Um, and now comes the bit where I will fill in all the blanks and then we'll have a look at it and then uh, we'll see if we need to change the design somewhat be back in about 24 hours right we are back uh, so it took me a while an hour really but yeah um, I've welded in kind of the front section the front section being uh, like up to here yeah it, it's kind of where the armor sloping is uh, and then we've got this huge area to fill in which is going to take a while and so I'm going to call on the construction team probably sometime soon um, yes yeah, so I'm having a real iron shortage but no duh this is a space station I'm building uh, yeah so this is going to be how big the hangar is it's quite roomy um, it's a lot bigger than the hangar on the surveyor and can probably hold like a billion of these welders um, which actually might be an idea, but no, we'll use the area above for housing all of our ships that aren't um, traders. So my plan is, um, so the way that you would trade resources is would have like a few connectors. One could be on the uh, on the floor, one on the ceiling, sides, front, uh, basically so that uh, your ship can dock with it. Um, at any angle and then they'll all get transferred um, manually uh, unless I can find an automated way of doing things but yeah this is good um, we're probably going to do some interior decorating next episode so that we can get everything working such as the the actual door um, we're going to put lights around we're going to need um, some gravity generators we're going to set up all the conveyors for this hangar and then once that's done it's going to take me a billion years but then I'm going to build the other hangars all um, hang on. uh, one two three four five six no eight sixteen thirty yeah all the other thirty two hangars thirty two hangars it's ridiculous um, but that's fine it's not like I have anything better to do uh, but yeah so after I've built the other 31 hangars, uh, then, well, no, whilst I'm building the other 31 hangars, we can then can start designing some other part of the station, which will be very exciting. Um, sorry if this episode is a bit short, but um, I kind of underestimated how long this is actually going to take. So in the next episode, we will um, build some more, well, we'll design this a bit more, like adding features possibly the stairs going downwards which I'm thinking is going to be in this corner um, and yeah that'll be fun until then my name has been Zero Jake end transmission <laughs>